it's Jameson here with a fast, well, maybe not fast for me, but maybe fast for you video of uh, a springtime project and thought I would just um, show you what I'm working on. So I went to home goods store and they had a couple of frames that I thought were neat and they were only seven bucks a piece. So um, I liked both of these and I thought that these would be fun to do a little floral scene in. So I've already taken the float glass out of these and I have this um, half of a sheet uh, it's not even, it's just marked, you can't see this, but it's marked 2001. Uh, there's no code for that. Uh, the tag says two color generic. Um, I'm thinking that this was, uh, you know, maybe some Saturday glass or a special run. It looks to me like spring green streaky on white. Um, there's a spring green and clear, but in the catalog, I don't see a spring green and white, but that's what I think this is. So uh, unfortunately, you may not be able to find this uh, glass, and this is the only piece that I've got. But uh, here's my float glass, so I'm going to use that as my um, template to cut out this. And my intention then is to do, I think tulips would be fun. So I was thinking about cutting some glass and maybe doing, you know, kind of two, two tulips uh, on on this float glass. I'm just using the float glass as an example of kind of what what I'm thinking here. So I can cut some uh, cut some pieces of colored glass that <clears throat> you know kind of follow this kind of general these general shapes and then you know have some some vitrograph stringer you know maybe maybe some big uh, spring green kind of you know leaves in here and then you know maybe just a little bit of grass uh, down below so for these tulips I think I'll just do maybe two per um, and I've got some colorful glass that I thought would be good I've got this streaky uh, let's see this says white opal and orange opal 21 23 I think uh, it's hard to yeah 21 23 um, so this, I'll, you know, just kind of pick the areas where I want to do some of those cuts, but I thought that would be kind of a bright springy, uh, color. And then I also have, uh, this isn't marked, but it's some, you know, pink and white streaky that I thought would, would look cool as well. So I'm going to go about, um, I need to clean this glass, but then I'm going to, you know, just cut out some, some shapes here that, uh, would represent, you know, what I'm going for. And then I'll piece them all together on my glass once I got that cut. And so I once I get to the point where I've got my glass cut and I'm ready to assemble, I'll show you my thinking in terms of how that comes together. All right, so a couple of notes. Uh, you probably couldn't see it because it was moving so quickly, but when I was cutting this piece, I got a little nick out of the top, and um, you also notice that it's not perfect all the way around, and that's okay. Um, that's the beauty of framing things like I do, um, is that there's about a quarter inch margin behind that frame, and that's gonna hide that piece just fine. So it doesn't have to be cut to perfection. And then um, you saw that I was cutting the petals and I went from using my cutter here to get it out of the sheet glass to using my nippers instead. And mostly that was because, um, you know, I've got a little bit of carpal tunnel issues and uh, was hurting a little bit and decided not to, you know, continue to strain. It was simply easier for me to nip off 
the edges and get them close enough. And then take them over to the grinder, clean them up a little bit, and now they're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start to think about how I'm building out these pieces. I'll build them here uh, and then dust them with clear powder when I'm done and get them over into the kiln. I'll always include my firing schedules in the video notes, so just click on the headline here in, U in YouTube in order to see the video notes and what my firing schedule is. I, for these types of pieces, I like to go 13 75 for about 15, 13 to 15 minutes. So that's generally what I'll be doing. But if you want to see the full thing, make sure you go to the video notes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some other glass and build these things out. here they are so here's this one and this one real happy with both of them and so as I mentioned the nick in here doesn't matter or the uneven cut doesn't matter so much because the beauty is it's all going to be hidden by the frame so get this one in here and then this just slots in and usually there's enough room just depends on the frame uh, there's enough room to kind of get these clips in here. You got to be careful not to crack your glass. Um, but uh, if the clips will slide in and hold that, then that's, you know, generally good enough for me. And I don't do anything more with it. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. I'm not paying attention. Um, <clears throat> if, uh, if the clips don't do that, or I don't feel com confident about that, uh, then I'll use duct tape, just um, some white uh, duct tape to kind of tape the back on and that's uh, always worked very well for me and then this one here this one's got these clips so that allows for some variation I'm just gonna have to I'm not gonna finish all this because you don't care but I have to unscrew these and get that on there but let me just show you how it fits in there so yeah nice good fit again doesn't matter because the frame hides that quite well and I'm real pleased with the way both of these turned out. So hope you found uh, this inspirational. Hope you maybe learned a little bit something. And uh, stay tuned to the channel for more. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.